Hello and welcome back to GISC 125, Mapping and Spatial Thinking. Today we're going to talk briefly about the geographic inquiry process. So geographers are investigators and the geographic inquiry process provides a systematic way to investigate and understand the world through the patterns, processes, and interactions between human and natural systems and then act on them. So knowing where something is, how its location influences its characteristics, and how its location influences relationships with other phenomena are the foundation of the geographic or spatial thinking. It is these steps that you will go through in your final project. So these and related geographic questions are frequently asked by people from various areas of expertise, industries, and professions. For instance, Urban planners, traffic engineers, and demographers may be interested in understanding the commuting patterns between cities and suburbs. So this would be a geographic interaction. Biologists and botanists may be curious about why one animal or plant species flourishes in one place and not another. Geographic location distribution kind of questions. And epidemiologists and public health officials are certainly interested in where disease outbreaks occur and how, why, and where they spread. So this is a geographic change and in interaction and in location kinds of questions. So there's essentially five question, steps that I'll go through. And these are, as I said, these are the steps we'll go through in your final project, which we'll be talking about later on in the semester. But the first one is, is the obvious, is to ask some kind of geographic question. And that was what you're going to have to do in your final project. What question can you come up with? The next step is acquire geographic resources. So examine GIS data, scholarly journals, books, um, and so forth. So you want to kind of where are you going to get your, your data from. And in this course, you're going to primarily get a lot of your data in, through GIS kinds of applications, GIS data. Third step is explore the geographic data, research maps, tables, and charts, in addition to periodicals on your topics. Step four, you want to analyze geographic information, look for relationships and patterns in the information. For example, we looked at these relationships and patterns in, in the way people voted. We also looked at kind of spatial patterns with the John Snow map. And the fifth step is act upon this geographic knowledge. Good citizens share their geographic knowledge with others. So you're not going to be making this map just for yourself, but you're going to be making this map for um, presenting your work, whether it's to town hall meetings, to other people in your professions, and so forth. So understand these kind of five steps and the processes that you will be going through for geographic inquiry.